Let's explore how least common multiple, LCM, and highest common factor, HCF, are used in everyday life. Let's start with an example of LCM in transportation scheduling. Imagine there are two bus routes at a station. Bus A runs every 15 minutes, while bus B runs every 20 minutes. If both buses depart together at 9 a.m., when will they next depart together? To solve this, we need to find the LCM of 15 and 20. Let's break down 15 and 20 into their prime factors. 15 is equal to 3 times 520 is equal to 2 times 2 by 5. The LCM will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is equal to 60. Therefore, the buses will meet again after 60 minutes, which means at 10 a.m. Now, let's look at how HCF helps in resource distribution. A teacher has 24 pencils and 36 erasers to distribute equally among some students. What's the maximum number of students that can receive an equal number of both items with no leftovers? To solve this, we need to find the HCF of 24 and 36. Let's find their factors. 24 is equal to 2 times 2 by 2 by 3. 36 is equal to 2 times 2 by 3 by 3. The common factors are 2 by 2 by 3. So the HCF is 12. This means 12 students can each receive 2 pencils and 3 erasers. Here are more everyday applications of LCM and HCF. LCM helps in planning workout routines that alternate different exercises, scheduling maintenance for different machines, organizing rotating shift schedules HCF is useful for, cutting materials into equal sizes, organizing items into equal groups, determining container sizes for packaging. Remember, LCM and HCF aren't just mathematical concepts. They're practical tools that help us solve real-world problems efficiently. Next time you need to plan schedules or distribute items evenly, think about using LCM.